My bed is a mess. I was finishing a video today. That's the video. It's a, the popsicle one. So by the time this video's out, you'll probably have seen this video. Unless you're completely new to this channel and you're here because of the popsicles. Which if you are, welcome. I like doing videos with my toys, which is why I got the popsicles in the first place. Now in the video, it looks like the popsicles melted. However, I have some extras. I'm gonna go get them. Just gotta make our way down the creepy dark corridors. And they're in here. There they are, some Mario popsicles. I'm actually only gonna take two of them. Let me get a plate. We're gonna take out two. We're gonna take out the new Mario Pop- Oh, uh, that's gonna fall. Take out a new Mario Popsicle. You can see it gets kind of stuck to the surface. Take a new one and an old one. By old one, I mean that this one is based off of the 1990s Mario Popsicle, which was real. And this is like a new design that the person who sent me them uh, made herself. I'm gonna take these upstairs. I'm gonna talk more about them. took way longer than I thought it would. Anyways, we got him. The Mad Men themselves, the Mario Popsicles. Let me know which one you guys would rather eat in the comments down below. Would you rather eat the old Mario Popsicle from the 1990s, or would you rather eat the new Mario Popsicle? And if you're thinking of flavors, I don't, I don't even know what flavor this is yet, so I'll let you guys know at the end which one I prefer. I'm gonna assume that they might taste the same. I don't really know. Maybe they should, should go for the same thing, but I don't know, who knows? According to my sources, Google, uh, it says cherry slushed ice with bubblegum nose. Uh, I don't know what flavor the bubblegum is. They usually have a flavor for it. I don't know which one this one is, but supposedly it tastes like cherry, which is cool. So we're gonna give that a try. Uh, in my video, I just said it was like fruit punch or something. I, I don't know. I don't know why I forgot that, you know, they're not that similar. First, I'm gonna give the old Mario Popsicle a try. Uh, the plate is really close to the edge of my bed. I'm gonna move it back there. You guys can still look at the Mario Popsicle if you want to. It'll probably be in the back. Let me actually move them a little. Okay, we're gonna give this one a try. Uh, we obviously have to take the paper off. I don't remember what the paper's for. I guess just so that like, doesn't stick to the plastic that it came in, you know, the little cardboard thing. We're gonna give this a go. So let's go, let's take a bite. Uh, I know it's edible because it melted during the video. So let's go. Hmm, what the heck? It's like, it's all sloshy. Let's see what this tastes like. It tastes like, well, it tastes like ice cream. Uh, it's like vanilla and cherry, I think. It does taste kind of cherry or like a watermelon flavor. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. See some more. It's actually pretty good. I kind of like this mix of vanilla cherry. I don't even have much commentary. I just want to keep eating it. You did good. Oh, uh, it's kind of weird though. Like, maybe if it melts a little, it might not be as, like, I don't know, stringy, I think. However, maybe maybe that comes with the fact that these sat in my freezer for, like, three months. I probably should have explained the backstory before I got into this. So, these are made by a TikToker named Mistress Melt. Uh, I reached out to her. She sent me some popsicles. It was very expensive, by the way, because she lives, like, across the country from me. So, we had the overnight ship popsicles. And it cost, like, $200 for shipping because we were overnight shipping across the country because we had the overnight ship because they're ice cream but you know that was a hassle that was a lot of money and i don't i don't know it was just kind of funny but i really did want to give her a huge shout out and thank you for sending these popsicles because i would not have gotten these otherwise i've been thinking about this popsicle for so long now and just wishing that i could try it and this might be the closest we can get you know this is probably the closest we can get to a mario popsicle and it's it's pretty good i like it i think she did a good job i just realized i should probably move mario I don't want him dripping on my computer. So you can see less of him now, but he's there and he won't ruin my, uh, I don't know how much a computer costs. It. It's a couple of years old now. I, eat, I want to eat more Mario, but I want to find out what flavor the gumball is. Cause that's important. They don't, they don't list that. But yeah, this exchange happened in like January. So these are in my freezer for like the longest time now. I just kept putting off the video over and over, but I'm glad that I finally got around to it. And I'm glad that they aren't like frozen solid. But right here, we're gonna find out what the gumball tastes like. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. I am chewing that thing. Is it a real bubble gum? Let's see. It's gum! I thought it was just gonna be some like jawbreaker or something, but it's gum. Oh, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping. I gotta eat this. This is like grape, I think. Well, no, it does kind of taste like green. So, good job. Um, okay. I, got, I ate the rest of it. 
Pretty good. I really do like this though. It's a really good popsicle. Okay. Original Mario is done. Now we can get to New Mario. So New Mario is not based on anything. New Mario is his own entity, his own being. It's completely original. So I don't know what flavor this could be. It could be literally anything. We're gonna find out, I guess. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna take a picture of it though, just in case. Okay, I got my pictures. Now I can eat the thing. I'm, I'm still chewing on the gum. I gotta spread it out. All right, I got it. Okay, now we're gonna eat new Mario in three, two, one. Let's see. Um, he's vanilla again. You can actually kind of see the inside is white. I've eaten so much ice cream today. We have no idea. Cause I had to eat a SpongeBob one earlier today as well. So I'm just chock full of ice cream. I can't eat anymore. I'm eating too much. Oh my God. It's so stringy. It's like jelly. That actually doesn't taste that good. The like stringy jelly. Bruh. Brain. Um, I'm cold guys. I'm so cold. I've eaten too many yummy things today. So we're gonna test it again. What about the eyes? We're gonna find out what the eyes taste like. Three, two, one. I got one of them. Um, grape, I think. I meant to guess before. I was supposed to guess what a black, uh, oh my God, my lip. What the hell? Dude, what? Ah, oh, what is happening to my lip? Guys, it's my punk goth era. Holy crap. I think it's grape though. I can't really tell. It's either grape or like concrete. I have no idea. I really can't tell what this is. It's, it's, uh, it's melting more. Whenever I eat the gumballs, it just suddenly starts spontaneously melting. I don't get it. I gotta eat the second gumball. Let's go. Uh, it's definitely grape. It's 100% grape. Okay, so that's all of it. Uh, what do I think? Um, pretty good. I, I, I did really like it. My favorite popsicle still obviously gotta go to either Sonic or SpongeBob, and that's because they're the only two I've tried. Actually, probably SpongeBob. I really like Fruit Punch. But I'm really impressed by these popsicles. You know, I, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't even know if they'd be edible. I thought it was just like, like ice. I didn't even think it'd have like a flavor. So I am thoroughly impressed. I am very, 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 very good work. Go check out our YouTube channel, showing some support, and thank you for watching the video. Bye. Subscribe.